Hello everyone! So I thought I would do a little March recap. Instead of just listing off my favourites, I thought I would go and list off like the favourite things that I've done, some experiences, how I felt. Basically yeah, just a March recap and I hope to do this every month because I find that a little bit more interesting than just sitting through and holding up products of my favourite things. Obviously that is cool, it gets a little bit repetitive time to time. So. First of all, I just want to mention that early March it, around here has been amazing. Getting outside, going for long walks and noticing that the blossom had started to kind of bloom and everything is starting to grow. It's just been so pretty watching everything bud and bloom and blossom and yes, and the trees have been white and pink and beautiful colours as you can see. It, it was like snow blossom in some places and just breathtaking and I have really enjoyed getting outside and just spying blossom and blossom hunting really this year. It's a site that I haven't really experienced before in Barcelona because in big old bag city down below there's not a lot of nature so yeah it's been cool to actually experience that for the first time and experience the change of the season and stuff like that this year as opposed to just it going from winter to summer. So yeah, spring, it's been nice to see you this year. You've, you've been very welcome. So hi, hello spring. I have enjoyed you a lot. So we also mark the occasion by having our first meal outside with friends in a nice restaurant on a terrace near the Panda, which is a natural reservoir near where I live and spying on the blossom then and everything just being beautiful and in bloom as I said. So on that note, I think from March I really loved doing was getting outside with my sketchbook and just going for long walks, whipping the old sketchbook out and having a bit of a draw. There's nothing like actually clearing your head of all nasty, horrible, creeping thoughts and just drawing either whatever comes into your head or if you're inspired by nature around you. I actually found some leaves that were like literally the leaves that I've always drawn and I felt that it was amazing to find that in the middle of nowhere, something from my imagination but was actually real. So that was cool. So yeah, outdoor sketching. I will include more of my outdoor sketching in a come sketch with me where I round up all the little bloggy bits of me sketching throughout the month into one video. That is what I shall do. Woo! The month of eight. So another monthly favourite for March would have to be bullet journal videos. I've really fallen down some sort of bullet journal planning black hole video club thing where I became or have I'm addicted to bullet journaling and the videos. Some are just so bloody amazing and also be sure to check out my Pinterest board because that's where I get my main inspiration from. I also follow a few amazing Instagram accounts which I will put on screen here and here for you to check out because they are really cool and worth looking at. So my favourite outfit. My favourite outfit has been black tights, really thick black tights, dinner like 120 or something like that. My Muji smock dress which is a black and white gigam which I've had for years. As I mentioned in previous videos I'm doing a no clothes, no shoes, no nothing bending ban for 2017 and I've managed to stay on track which is amazing so I have been discovering some old wardrobe favourites which is really cool because that's obviously my style and it's not just on trend stuff and Buying into all of that, it's actually stuff I really love. So yeah, along with the Muji smock dress, I have been enjoying wearing that with my oversized denim jacket, which is from Topshop. I just love the fit, it's really warm, and I feel really comfortable in it. And on that, I've got two little badges, which are really cute. I have been changing that up with DMs or trainers, whatever, and I've been loving that outfit. It's comfortable. On the days I like to eat pizza, it hides a multitude of sins. It's like a moo dress for me it's a smock so yeah my favorite food that i have prepared has sweet potato baked sweet potato with homemade uh, vegetarian free bean chili with lentils oh my god it's so good put a little tiny dollop of philadelphia light cheese on top and sriracha sauce 
oh my god so good uh, with salad i've really really enjoyed eating that i've been trying to get on a bit of a healthy kick obviously for summer or well, not really for summer but to make me feel better in my own skin seeing as in summer you do actually whip your skin out quite a lot more than in winter so yes i become pescatarian which means i only eat fish and seafood i do not eat meat anymore so and i do not miss it weirdly enough i thought i would I thought I wouldn't miss a bacon sandwich, but I do not. So I made seitan sausages, seitan meat. I've had loads of tofu. I've been having loads of like healthy grains and things like garbanzo beans, chickpeas, and lentils and stuff like that. And I've been really enjoying cooking and rediscovering different recipes and stuff. Oof. So good. So getting on to one of my favourite is my favourite places. My favourite place I would say is just had to be around here at the moment. I've not out very far. I've been a bit poorly lately again. Um, felt really low in energy and really achy so I haven't really wanted to exert myself and push myself and have a big stressful day of being in running around 10 million places all of the time so I've tried to keep it local. And I guess I've just been enjoying being around here, going on those long walks and things like that. Um, hopefully next month I'll have something a bit more interesting to say on a favourite place. My favourite series. Haven't really had favourite series. Mum just started, what did we watch? We watched the OA. It was okay, I wasn't like actually amazed by it. I thought it was a bit cheesy and a bit predictable to be honest. Yeah, it was okay. Mm. We'll see. It's easy to watch about it, really. What I have been getting into, though, is podcasts galore. What have I been listening to? Women's Hour, norm as normal. I need to start listening to S-Town. I've not done that yet. Mm. Okay, I've got the name. <laughs> it's Make It and Then Tell Everyone. So it's presented by Dan Berry, and he interviews different people, different creatives about their creative process and their work, etc. And I've really been into it. I've been feeling really inspired. And I love listening to podcasts because they keep that, that side of your brain so occupied. And the other side has been kind of like, okay, I can get on with these manual creative tasks and feel really inspired and informed at the same time. So I've been really enjoying podcasts, especially this. So I especially, especially, especially enjoyed the episode with Max. Saren, I think she's a Finnish uh, cartoon, illu cartoonist, illustrator, comic maker extraordinaire. I've really enjoyed listening to her. She really helped me out actually through a little sticky patch I've had this month, um, which I'll talk about a little bit more. I've had for March, let me just update you, I've had a few little projects on. I designed my cousin's wedding invitations, which I have now completed, which is really cool to have that finished. They were like really florally, and I will also insert some fidgets here of that happening. I filmed quite a lot of videos, which I've really enjoyed doing, learning and editing, and just picking up bits as I go along. It's been really interesting. I've had a lot of medical appointments, as is I've enjoyed eating cow sots. Cow sots are big long onion thingies. We've been out with friends and had a nice lunch on a terrace um, in a little kind of makeshift restaurant that's on the edge of the uh, man-made reservoir. Cow sots are um, Catalan kind of long, they're kind of like big spring onions that you have in Salsa Romesco, I think it is. And they're so good. Do you like roast them in a terracotta like roof tile on the barbecue? They're bloody delicious. I've really enjoyed the eating those. That's been one of my favourite experiences from May. Actually getting together and doing that and having friends over and beer and just watching football and having kind of like just hanging out really and just having it quite chilled and relaxed. I've really enjoyed actually being a bit more social in my own home, which has been good because as I said, I've been tired and be social whilst staying close to home. Going through my gratitude log here for March, I had a really good, lovely, I had a really good ma a massage and face, which was lovely. My niece came to stay with us and we made cookies and that was really cool. Uh, also filming free video, cookie baking, ice cream. There's a really, really good ice cream place here in Vibidera. 
and it makes the most amazing ice cream ever. It tastes actually of like Mocha got a pistachio ice cream and it literally tasted of pure pistachio. It was amazing. Printing stuff, being able to sell stuff, eating lots of pizza, which I'm on a little pizza ban now. Making batch stuff from scratch as well, I've really enjoyed preparing healthy meals. Had the lentil chili and curries and different things myself and just getting back into the kitchen and cooking again. I went and explored Saria and I really enjoyed that as well. Made some amazing bean burgers and just sitting on my balcony and enjoying the views. Yep, just getting cracking on with different projects that I've had and learning new skills like InDesign has been really difficult for me to crack but I feel like I'm slowly getting there with it which is really cool. In March, uh, the last day of March, I had a procedure done where I was put under to under general anaesthetic. That was not fun and that whole last week of March I guess was really not very nice for me at all and I felt horrible and yes yeah, so I had the gastronomy appointment and I felt really really rubbish all of that week so it made sure I was resting was able to edit a lot of videos but I still got stuff done which was good really and a few things that I've really enjoyed this month special favorites have been this book which is the Ellie Pears fast and feast day recipe book I first of all followed her account on Instagram I, again I will link that yeah she has the most amazing recipes I love the way this book has been designed as well um, beautiful photography beautiful design like layout design um, I really like these elements and stuff like that the recipes in general have been amazing to cook from to just try and eat like a little bit more healthily and all of her recipes are mainly vegetarian or pescatarian so yeah this um for example the tomato lentil and broccoli soup is bloody lovely so the idea is the 5-2 diet is that um for two days a week you eat you basically fast and eat a really low calorie diet um so that's soups salads and bits like that so her recipes have been really great for getting inspiration. Two Garnier products from this month. This is not sponsored, though it seems, but I've really fallen in love with this Garnier micellar water. I found this is really the one of the best. It kind of is the same as the Bioderma one. It does the job. It's fairly reasonable. It's eight euros for this massive bottle. And for a night cream, I've been really enjoying. This is my second one, actually. This, um, Garnier Skin Active Hydro Bomb Night Super Replenishing Antioxidant Gel Cream. Both of those have been a real firm favourite and yeah, good on the old purse strings as well. Not so great on the old purse strings has been this Biofirm Total Renew Balm. I've enjoyed using this, I showed it in my haul video. So yeah, I've not used a great deal. I like that you apply it on your face um, and you massage it in as an oil and as soon as you get it um, wet, it kind of emulsifies and goes like into a milk. And then I clean that off with a wet flannel, like a quite warm wet flannel. I usually do that every night. So I use this in the morning and then at night time I will use this, followed up by a second cleanse of this. Another thing talking about second cleanse, double cleanses and stuff like that is I've been bloody loving Caroline Hiron's um, videos, blogs, posts, Instagram stories. They're really hilarious. She's a really funny woman but I know her stuff and I've really enjoyed reading her blog. I had a massive session kind of like <sighs> went on a bit of a Caroline Hirons rampage, which is cool. I got a new watch strap for my Withings Activity Pop because the watch strap that it came with was shit and kept breaking. I went through about three or four watch straps. So on Amazon, I saw that they were selling this one that kind of seemed to fit the watch and everything and it's real leather and yeah i much prefer it actually how the watch looks it looks like a more watchy watch rather than just a sports watch and so that basically has been my month of march it's quite slow a bit ill but i managed to get a sale on it with one of my prints which made me really happy and getting out and posting that also getting out and drawing seeing some friends yeah just mainly bumming around home really april so far has been pretty 
pretty much the same. That is my month of March. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be great. If you could leave a comment with any feedback or anything, that would also be great just to introduce yourself because I would love to know who it is who is watching my videos and where you all, all your guys are from and all of that business you can visit my instagram and stuff if you want to see any of my illustration work i mainly post their day with illustration updates and bits and pieces i've also written a few blog posts lately so if you would like to see those click below my portfolio is finally up online so that's cool so don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you all very soon bye guys